Less than 10 hours to go for Chandrayaan landing. Moon is just 25 kilometers. Just 25 kilometers before our, just below our lander Vikram. Chandrayaan 3 is going to touch down today over a billion prayers for this big mission. India's historic moment is now getting closer. Remember, India will become the fourth nation as and when that landing takes place <coughs> after US, China and the then USSR. India awaits the moon touchdown with a bated breath. Remember from Vikram Sarabhai's vision to when ISRO was founded in 1969, from Vikram Sarabhai to Vikram Lander, we will of course be hopeful that uh, there is a very soft landing that comfortably brings our Vikram Lander and Pragyan rover. This illustration on your screen is to help you understand what happens next. That is when Chandrayaan's uh, uh, whole equipment is going to open up. The rover is uh, also going to come down and that is when we'll have one, the ISRO logo, the Indian Space Research Organization's logo and the Ashoka emblem that will be clearly on that lunar surface. I want to quickly go across uh, to Sagai Raj in Bengaluru for the latest on that. Sagai, tell us all about how the mood precisely is not just at, of course, ISRO, but among residents, among people. And I can say that uh, at least here in Delhi and CR, people are definitely going to be clued in as much as possible. Over to you. Absolutely. People are excited here in Bangalore because uh, this is the headquarters for ISRO. We are outside the ISRO's tracking center where all the signals are passed through that particular dish. As we speak now, the employees of ISRO who are coming for the morning shift are quite enthusiastic and uh, they are heading inside ISRO tracking center where they want to find out what is the latest update on this? Just 12 hours left for uh, uh, the landing of uh, lander Vikram and people are quite excited. Remember, uh, there are many technologies which has been enhanced, which has been updated. Software has been updated. The hardware has been enhanced in, in, in the lander when you compare to Chandrayaan 2, especially laser Doppler velocimeter, which will also calculate the velocity, especially the speed, uh, along, uh, opposite to the uh, moon surface and ensure that there is a safe landing. Even the scientists are quite confident because they have learned lessons from their past mistake from Chandrayaan 2 and that is the reason many of them feel that this this time it is going to be 100 percent successful 604 is the time which has been given by the scientists when the lander Vikram is going to land and probably after that it will take two hours for them to settle down and thereafter the rover will come out of the lander and it will start his work well, I can tell you that uh, ISRO headquarters where Antrik Bhavan, where Bengaluru is, that's of course going to be where all the highlight is. And Sagai Raj will be reporting from uh, the latest on that. But uh, these are illustrations to help you understand what exactly happened with Chandrayaan 3. When, remember the rocket that was launched and the manner in which it entered into the space and then the orbit of the moon. This is how the landing as and when going to be. Uh, of course, uh, all depends on that final moment, the last 10 to 15 minutes. But uh, according to ISRO scientist team, they have done everything they possibly can to analyze the surface and have been able to land uh, the Chandrayaan-3 in the tests that have done. And of course, we'll be hopeful and praying that this is how it happens on lunar surface as well.